Hello and welcome to the most valuable piece of content that you will come across in your spiritual business journey. This is part of a two-part series. This first one is how to go from zero to 40K in your spiritual business. And the second one is how to scale that spiritual business infinitely. These are Enneagram-based strategies, which means that they are reusable you can use them over and over again. They are objective, which means that they work for absolutely everybody. They are unbreakable, which means that they are stronger every single time that you use them. They never fail. They never run down, period, the end. Now, the thing about using the Enneagram or other ritual magic formulas is that they will tell you exactly what steps are needed and nothing more than that, but you cannot miss one single step. If you miss even one step, then you're not gonna get a result. So when I show you this system, there might be things that you're really excited about and you're like, yes, let's do it. There's gonna be other things where you're like, well, do I really have to do this? You must, there is no way around it. So let's get right into it. We're going to be working off of a screen share here. My name is Onami. I am a master of all systems. I'm a spiritual teacher, and I have done over a million dollars in revenue from my business, my personal brand. I am now building a media company and a publishing company. And when I tell you that I am so grateful to be able to bring this level of organization to my new projects so that they don't end up like my old projects, like whoo. Um, my first business went bankrupt because I didn't have a strategy. I was just like, let's hope that this works. My second business capsized after five years because it wasn't running on a strategy. So it was super profitable and it was super fun, but it just couldn't scale because it wasn't built to scale. It had succeeded on accident. I couldn't replicate it no matter how hard I tried. So I'm trying to help you avoid that pain. And there's this urge that spiritual teachers have to be like, can't I just wing it? You know, can't I just use my intuition and manifest it? Faith without works is delusion. And the last thing that you want when you are attempting to support yourself off of your spiritual gifts is to find out publicly that you have been delusional the whole entire time. And that manifesting is not just hoping and wishing and dreaming that it's all going to work out for you. It's doing effort at the exact right time. It's taking into account fear at the exact right time. And it's surrendering at the exact right time. And using an objective tool like the Enneagram lets us know exactly when it's time to effort and exactly when it's time to surrender so that you're not sitting there waiting for a miracle when it's actually your turn to get to work. So every single workshop that I teach is backed by an Enneagram. Every single workshop that I teach, the advanced ones, not the beginners ones. I didn't know about this technology. That was my first business. <laughs> um, but everything that I use in my workshops today is backed by an Enneagram. So you're gonna see this pattern coming up over and over again in everything I teach, and that's how I'm able to guarantee you results. So let's not spend any more time talking here. Let's go right into looking at the Enneagram that will get you from zero dollars in spiritual business to your first 40K. Great. All right, three, two, one, let's hit it. So the Enneagram of building a profitable teaching business from scratch is different from how to scale that profitable business because building a lead magnet is going to happen much earlier. And here's the reason why it has to be that way. As a teacher, you have got to rip the band-aid about making a workshop or a lead magnet and you have to do this early otherwise you're going to get addicted to one-on-one -on -one coaching and that is exactly why my first business went bankrupt we all want to do that cash injection business from the very beginning we all want to be able to just be oh i had a two thousand dollar day and you have one of those days like every three months. And in the beginning, when you first tap your audience, you're going to have an abnormal amount 
of one-on-one -on -one clients, just enough to basically trick you into thinking that this is how you could do it all the time. And you're not really growing as a teacher with one-on-one -on -one because you're not being forced to develop a method. However, you will never have a method if you don't take one-on-one -on -one clients because one-on-one -on -one clients that keep showing up and asking you to teach them what it is you most need to learn after you've taken a few clients like this and you see, oh, they all, I'm giving them all the same method that I didn't even know I had. I'm giving them all the same homework and they're all getting the same result. Therefore, I could just teach people this homework. I could charge them less for it. And I wouldn't have to have this same conversation over and over again with so many people. Now, if you've already made a group workshop, if you've already made a lead magnet, this is not intimidating to you. But if you go into your first business with no strategy, just winging it, hoping to support yourself off of one-on-one -on -one clients, you and you've never ripped this Band-Aid, you're not going to be able to think creatively in other ways of delivering your message for a more reasonable price point. And also there is no incentive for somebody to come to you. Your audience is not growing. So you're basically just asking the people that have been following you up until this point to support your business. And that's, you know, they'll be excited in the beginning and then it's going to dry up. So one-on-one -on -one income is not reliable. It's usually what we're looking for in the beginning of a business because it feels so good, but they call it a cash injection because injections feel so good and it's not sustainable. You will not be able to get out of this selling time for money hamster wheel until you develop passive income. So this is a holistic business strategy, which means that it's taking into account the three types of income that you have to have to be successful. If you're only focusing on one type of income, you will have an imbalanced business and it is not going to be successful. And one of the first resources I'm really going to insist that you guys pick up is the book, is, if you're brand new in business, is the book, The Prosperous Coach by Rich Litvin. And this will really help you to rip the band-aid, see yourself as a teacher and understand that like anybody can do this. It's just doing it <laughs> that separates the people that, that are actually successful from the people that are on the sidelines. So the first thing that we're going to look at here is our three types of income. And these three types of income represent the three forces that exist in sales. And those three forces are the market, the buyer, and the seller. So if we think about it in like the understanding that there's three forces and taking that into consideration is really important. If you think that the war on drugs exists because there's too many sellers and too many buyers, you're not taking into consideration the role of the market and who profits off this constant flywheel um, that allows the drugs to be priced the way that they are and distributed the way that they are. When you take into account the third force, what's allowing this conflict to even occur, sellers, 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 buyers, 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 that is when you understand how creation really works. So using an Enneagram forces us to take into account first and foremost, what are the three forces that are creating the tension that allow this creation to be constantly in motion? A line doesn't have tension, but a triangle does because a triangle distributes weight equally. And so when we're done with today's video, you are going to be able to place yourself within this map. This is a clockwise running map. You're going to be able to recognize exactly where you are, where you've been, and where it is that you're going. And this is the definition of intelligence intelligence is knowing where you are. Okay. So the first three forces are the market and the market here represents our neutral income, which is a very important income to be aware of. Neutral income, neutral means nothing coming in, nothing going out. It's not costing you money to build. It's not taking in money yet. 
It's just neutral. And the term for this in business is your TAM, your total addressable market. This is your audience and the people that you can speak to without having to pay a third party for advertising. And the single most important metric the single most important audience that you will ever build as a teacher is your newsletter list. And if you teach about controversial or taboo topics, it's extremely important that you back up your newsletter list once a month to make sure that if anything happens to your newsletter list, you can take those customers with you. So your neutral income is your audience, which you are constantly cultivating through social media, through your newsletter list. And this is, this is real ass income. Your audience is your real ass income. This is where your customers are going from being cold, they've just met you, to hot, which is very likely to buy. And when it comes to one-on-one -on -one clients, one-on-one -on -one clients aren't some aren't people that are ready when you're ready. You'll say all the time, oh, you know, I'm ready to take clients, come on in, and they won't show up. They show up when they're ready. And if they're ready, it's because they've been watching everything you do, following all of your posts. So you have a lot of people in this audience already, basically just waiting for you to show them what your cutting edge is as a teacher so that, and that you have spaces available so that they can jump in and pay you. So neutral income is your audience. And this is where your whole journey begins is you starting to communicate with your audience as a teacher, as a teacher, you're like, I'm going to use this for money. I don't have to delete all my posts. I very much do not need to go start a whole new audience because I'm so afraid of coming out as spiritual. No, this is just you making the decision that every single post of yours will serve in some way that you will hold your, your role as a teacher and teach in some way. The next income that is the most important to develop is passive income. And passive income doesn't just serve you because it creates consistency in your business, but it also serves your customer because they are able to work with you at a more reasonable price point because your live time is not being sold. All right. Now, I don't recommend unless you have a lot of savings or a long credit line and you're okay with going into debt because it's business debt and not personal debt and you have the capacity to think of yourself as a business. If you do not have the capacity to think of yourself as a business, then you should absolutely do my workshop Empress Academy, which is erotic um, erotic arts and marketing tools together. And in that there is um, the live streamed calls from my accountant. Let me know via email if you just want to watch this live stream call from my accountant about filing as an S-Corp, and I will do my best to get that to you in a reasonable way. Also, let me know what you would like to pay for it. And that, that's how I'll filter being inundated by messages. <laughs> um, now, I don't recommend going full-time into your spiritual business, but what you can do is, and this is how the Enneagram of scaling a business and the Enneagram of building a business are very similar, is that the cycle that we're always completing is taking our active income and setting it passive. So if right now your active income is working at a restaurant, Ideally, we would not just pull the plug on that income and hope that it works out for us. We would have to set that business passive. Now, how can you set something passive that requires your live time to be there in order to make money? The truth is you can't. But what you can do is you can be absolutely fastidious, rottweiler, gatekeeper of your mind about all of the passive information that goes into your mind during passive time. So we have three states of flow. If you keep these three states in balance, you'll always be in flow. 33% of the time you want to be in neutral. Neutral is when nothing is going out and nothing is going in. A walk in the park can be neutral. Cleaning your house can be neutral if you're not listening to a podcast. 
playing with your children can be neutral and even work can be neutral if, you know, especially like when you're working on the line or something like that, where you just literally can't think because you're so busy, that can also be neutral. We're talking about the flow state of the mind. So some people find that when they're working out really hard, when they're on a run, their mind clears. That's because there's no podcast going in. They're not thinking about what it is that they should be saying to somebody going out, their mind is in a neutral state. So you don't have to be meditating to catch neutral time. The only thing that you need to do to access that neutral state of flow is there's nothing going out and there's nothing coming in. It's just receiving a download that could never be taught, that could only be revealed. So when you are not working at your laptop and not studying business, you are still in a state of flow. And this third force of flow, neutral state, is the most important because it's the most forgotten. If it was remembered as equally as the other two, it wouldn't be the most important. But for the majority of the population, that neutral state of flow is going to be absolutely essential. Then we have the passive income. Um, we have the passive state of flow. And the passive state of flow is when you do not know something, but you could learn it. So everything related to study, everything related to workshops and the, the tools that you need to develop to become good at supporting yourself off your spiritual gifts. 50% of the tools that you need to develop are practical business tools, which means that your rule for life going forward is that you never pick up a spiritual book without picking up a business book. You never watch a spiritual lecture without watching a business lecture. You always work these two in equal measure. And this is what makes my esoteric school unique because we are always studying them both at the same time. I can teach you about high magic with an Enneagram, but we're going to learn how it's applicable to business as well. You can tickle both of these at the same time, but I absolutely demand that everybody works them in equal measure because I don't fucking work with people that are just here to jerk their spiritual growth off and they don't care about humanity. If you care about humanity, you care about making sure your work is discoverable and applicable to the whole world. This is your driving force. This is what gets you out of bed in the morning. Sales are how you do that. So I don't care if I know you don't want to learn it. You're, you're forced to in my school. So you can be, you know, no, you can't give up your waitressing job, but you can be absolutely rigorous about what it is that you take in. And you say, I'm not looking at social media. I'm not watching Kaka TV. I'm not watching any of this crap. I have a list a mile long of the things that I need to study to be profitable in business. This is my website building. This is my tech stack. This is my, how do I write a newsletter? This is the spiritual tools that I want to study and the business tools that I want to study as well. Correcte? You are still in flow when you are studying. Productivity is the ability to stay in flow. Productivity is not fucking cranking out eight hours at your laptop every single day. Six of those hours are activities and not actions. That means that they make you feel very busy, but they are not moving the needle forward in your business. You have to know this, especially as an entrepreneur, because you'll burn yourself the fuck out 14 hours a day redesigning your website when actually what's required is to go hit the books and find out how to make people go to your website. Correcte. The last state of flow is the active state of flow. And this is when you are outputting based on what has been revealed to you and what you know. So that only represents 33% of the time sitting down at your laptop. You can create a very profitable spiritual business without quitting your job because it only requires a very small amount of your active time. You can be studying every time you're in transit if you have the fucking discipline to do that. If you don't have the discipline, then you need to build it or you need to work for somebody else from, for the rest of your life. Decide what it's going to be for you. And when you're in neutral as well, and you can be in neutral as work at work, provided that you're not like fucked up on the clock. Cool. You control these three states of flow. 
you will be able to set to, to be supported by your full-time job until your spiritual business becomes a viable income stream through the work that we're developing here. Here's what it's going to look like for you. You have this intention to make 40 grand a year using your gifts. 40 grand a year was, you know, the, the poverty line in New York when I lived there. Um, but that's 40 grand a year is, is considered good income to some, but I feel like this is a good first goal to reach good first goal to reach. When I did my first 40 K in business, I was, I was pretty stoked, but because I, if I had this formula, I could go to 40 K profitability within six months. Now, where this could take people a hell of a lot longer is by stalling and not making their lead magnet. And also by just letting insecurity get the best of them and not just ripping the bandaid and saying, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell. Now, if you don't have this strategy, you don't know that things need to be done in that order. But now that you have this strategy, if you just follow the steps, you will become profitable and you will always know how far away you are from reaching that goal because you'll know exactly where you are. So we have this intention. I want to make 40K a year using my gifts. Now, here is a note about those gifts. As a teacher, you don't get to say, huh, what do I want to teach? Oh, I really want to teach people about sex. You know, I really want to teach people about this. As a teacher, your job is to recognize what it is that you most need to learn, go study that, and then teach other people how to do that. And when you go and you start studying that, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When your brain and your heart are filled with studying the thing that you most need to learn, then it's just gonna come out of your mouth naturally. And when you teach something, you master it. So the second that you finish teaching this thing, you will be done. You don't have to have that conversation again. It can become passive income, but you actually don't get to move forward spiritually until you put somebody else at the step that you're at. This is the role of the teacher. When you put someone else at the step that you're at, you self-graduate. You don't need someone in a robe to give you a, a diploma. You graduate yourself, but it's not teaching somebody what it is that you most want to teach. It's what it is that you most need to learn. And for this first lead magnet that we're building, this is like the thing that you most recently learned that that really changed your life. And you're teaching it so that you can master it so that you can be all done with it. And I mean, very recent. I don't mean in the last year. I mean, like in the last month. Cool. So when I see that, you know, people that have been in spiritual business for a really long time and they're like, I just can't get profitable and I don't know why this is almost always the issue um, with people struggling to make that first 40 K they have not aligned their curriculum to their life. They think they get to pick the curriculum. This is not true. The curriculum is given to you from life and it's your job to make that happen. So we have this intention that I want to make 40 grand a year using my gifts. If you want to know what your gifts are, you can look up this term, this Japanese term, Ikigai, that's I-K-I-G-A-I. And what you want to do is fill in the four quadrants, find what they all agree on, and that is what you what your gifts are. And then this is where, I guess before I, I go too much deeper into this, I just want to let you guys know, neutral income is your market. Passive income is stuff that you have taught to several people and it's good enough to be taught now to a group without you having to teach it. The passive income is no live time. And then the active income are one-on-one -on -one clients as well as workshops that your group workshops that you're selling with live time because the teachings are not uh, experienced enough for you to just let it to just let it be on its own. You have people have questions and and all first rounds of workshops will require live time because you think you know everything that someone needs to know. You can even have an Enneagram of how to build a workshop like you get in my workshop, the Enneagram, um, to make sure that you have all of the components that people need to know that will save a lot of time and, and give you a lot of confidence that the workshop is complete. When you don't have a method, you're like, is it ever done? And, and that question will not go away until you have some type of method that lets you know that it's done. The Enneagram is an objective method to create all things. So whatever result you're looking to create, if you put that within the context of the Enneagram, then 
you, then you'll know that you have all of the pieces necessary for creation. I can't believe I haven't told you guys this already at this moment. Um, my book, nine lines of primer to the Enneagram is free. You can get that at mommyonami.com forward slash free book, or by going to mommyonami.com, heading to the spiritual section, going to the Enneagram and seeing all the resources that are available there. You get two pieces of content with that. You get the 35 page ebook that explains what the Enneagram is and how it works. Then you get a masterclass on black, white, and red magic, which will teach you how you can do any magic, business magic, sex magic, how you can do any magic that you want using the Enneagram. This means that you don't have to do complicated rituals. You just take strategic actions and you're not going to be worrying that you've done something wrong and you're going to conjure like a gin. You don't, you don't need to worry about that when you understand how these types of magic work and where they fit within the context of creation. There's a time for white magic. There's a time for black magic. There's a time for red magic. If you understand this, you can create anything. If you don't, you're going to hit that black magic line. It's going to deter you from finishing your mission. And you're going to go right back home with your tail between your legs. You don't want that. Passive income is group workshops. This passive income starts slowly, builds steadily, and supports you reliably. Active income comes on an injection basis. It requires your energy to generate more of it. It feels really good at first, but if you get an addiction to injections, it's very hard to come off of it and you're never going to be happy. So you need to know about these three types of income so that you don't make the mistake that 90% of coaches make, which is just focusing on active income and wondering why they're flexing 33% of their capacity and not getting a 100% result. I know that you don't want to focus on this in the beginning. That's why your future self sent me to you today to be like, listen, you don't have to learn by trial and error. You don't have to build a business that embarrasses you. You can do this strategically step by step without taking any fucking drastic action and going into debt like I did. You can work this slowly and steadily. You will always know where you are. You will always know where you've been. You will always know where you're going and you will get there 100%. Whenever we're at triangle points on this map, things will require extra time. So if it took you one week to go from the top of the triangle to point one, it could still take you three weeks to get from point three to point four. It could take you three months. And this doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. But when I say that it could take you six months to go to 40K a year, that it could take you six months to build the type of infrastructure that would generate you 40 grand a year. It really could, but if you get stuck at this next point that I'm about to outline to you, you could be there indefinitely. The main block for somebody that wants to be a teacher is saying, who am I to teach? And you see your life as before spirituality as being like some kind of big failure, but now you're spiritual and you want to put all of that behind you. You have learned really valuable things in your life that are relevant to your career. Your history in corporate, useful to you. Your history as a bartender, useful to you. All of this is useful. And what you bring to the world is unique. Trust that the gifts that you have are exactly what the world needs. Trust in that. Everybody is teaching something that has been taught before, but what they bring to it is unique. There is nobody else on earth that is living that teaches this ancient symbol, thousands of years old. There's nobody else that's teaching it. Has it been taught before? Yes. But what I bring to it today is unique. Trust that the gifts that you have are exactly what the world needs, all right? So we have um, the intention of wanting to make a bunch of money uh, using our gifts. The limitation is like, who am I to teach? And the what we need to do to go around that is to rip the Band-Aid and you need to make a lead magnet. Immediately after the first step was starting to address our market, 
on seeing our audience as being a valuable source of neutral income. The second step is setting a clear financial intention. I want to make $40,000 a year using my gifts to start. The next thing that you have to do, there's no way of getting around this. You need to make a lead magnet, which is also called a freebie. This is what sets the first stage of building a business apart from the scaling stage of a business. When we are scaling a business, we won't make a lead magnet until much later. When you are wanting to be a teacher, you have to do this early. You have to do this before you're ready. And you just have to do this. I spent, I spent 7K on a business coach that told me to do this. And I just whined and cried because I didn't feel ready to just crank out a free workshop that could advertise what I do to the world for free, that could invite people to come into my newsletter list and grow my audience because I have a service-based tool that could demonstrate my proficiency as a teacher that could rip the band-aid for me of being like, I can't do group stuff by just fucking doing it with no financial pressure. I didn't want to do that. And I hemmed and hawed and was like, my one-on-one -on -one clients will come and save me. Let me just keep telling people how I'm going to empower them. Let me just keep telling people what it is that I want to teach. No, 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 no. You absolutely have to do this step. So a lead magnet is a free workshop, a free ebook, a free masterclass, a free challenge, a free something that invites people to be taught by you over and over again until the mission is complete. I was like, I don't know what to make my freebie on for literally seven months going into the fucking hole. And then eventually what happened was I read a BuzzFeed article about words that you should never use in emails because it makes you seem weak. I was like, oh shit, I have things that I want to add to this. And that became my free workshop, the 10 day speech detox. It took me, I was like, I'm going to release it one it'd be in my newsletter list one email a day. It was actually so stressful to, to write it. I still am so proud of this workshop to this day. That was almost 10 years ago that I did that. And the idea just came, boom. So when I decided I was going to do this, it immediately, the road rose to meet me, but I hadn't, I was saying, I'm not ready. I'm, you're fucking ready. You just learned something in the last month that changed your life. Now teach somebody else so you can see what it means to self-graduate. Then you can take that free thing that you've made and invite everybody that you possibly can. Everybody that you possibly can. You can run ads for $100 with this and get a bunch of people on your newsletter list. You can end every single social media post with, Try my free challenge, read my free ebook, get my masterclass. You have learned something within the last 30 days that is valuable to other people. And when you teach other people this, you graduate yourself and you can move on to the next topic. You won't be stuck there. And this will help to get you the most difficult thing for you. That will keep you stalled. We're at a triangle point here is you are like selling people don't want to be sold to people think that my work is stupid people get annoyed when i sell to them shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you shut the fuck up that's not coming from you that's coming from your ego your ego that says it's more spiritual to shrink than to show up and serve people and say, this is what I have. This is how I can help you. This is what I can do for you. Sales are service and service is never inconvenient. So shut the fuck up. Don't put one single post out on social media that's not inviting people to try your free thing. Learn everything that you need to get that to people so that you're not like DM me and I'll send you the link to my free masterclass. You can do that. But ideally, you built a newsletter list up here. You fucking took some hard work. 
right here at what you most need to learn. And you learned how to create an automation so that when people sign up for your newsletter list, they automatically get the freebie that you are offering to them. And in that freebie, you can plug anything that you're offering at this time. If you want to do a session, if you want me to read your tarot cards, if you want me to do energy healing, it doesn't matter. But you will, as you're writing it or as you're filming it or as you're building it, you're seeing so many ways that you could say, hey, you know, if you want to learn more about this, come to me for this. Because you can only put so much in a free course. You can only put so much in a free ebook. This is not, this is something that should take people not more than an hour of their time to digest. It's a service-based thing. My 10-day speech detox was one email a day, would take them five minutes to read, but I ran an ad for $100, this is back in the good old days, but I ran an ad for $100 on Facebook, just target more people like my followers, and I got 200 people signing up for my newsletter list. That was going into my neutral income category, and this, what a joy, because now I've attracted 200 people that see me as a teacher. This is not me trying to change the minds of my friends and my family that are making up my Instagram feed or making up my TikTok. Even if you have a whole audience of people that only sees you in one way, let's say you got a bunch of followers on TikTok for going viral from something that you don't even really want to be connected with, that's fine. All it takes to change you and how your customer sees you is one solid lead magnet. I'm an expert at this. Get it for free and you'll love this. So at this stage, you're learning how to just over and over and over again. This is what I do. This is how much, this is what I do. Please get my free lead magnet. And, and this is the part of you that's really got to change. You are here just because you're spiritual doesn't mean that you're entitled to making money. You got to work it. You got to work it. And all kinds of people are going to say, it's not spiritual to make money. Look at their fucking life. Do you want to be like them? Do you want to be like them? Are you willing to sacrifice your spiritual paycheck for their approval? Because that's exactly what the fuck is going on here. That's exactly what the fuck is going on here. Then you can go and look up your spiritual mentors. Do they have a life that you want? How often are they selling something? I'm on Sadhguru's newsletter list. I get an advertisement for inner engineering at least once a week. It's spiritual. Get away from the people that tell you it's not because they're going to cost you your paycheck. And when you realize that, you will resent them so much that you can't even look them in the face anymore. That relationship is on the outs anyway. Anybody that tells you that their personal preferences should come in front of what you want doesn't care about you. They don't care about you. Anyone that says my needs need to come in front of your needs, they don't care about you. And this is what's kind of shitty about having kids is that you realize, especially when you're sick and you're like, I need to stay in bed and they're being little shits. You're like, oh my God, I love you so much. And you don't, you don't care about me at all. You love me, but you don't care about my well-being. Um, but they, you know, welcome to the life of being a parent. <laughs> they love you, but they don't fucking care about you. <laughs> um. So, but some of you guys with your, with your Pisces children that are just so sweet, you'll, you're having a different experience. My God, I've got a Taurus and a Sagittarius. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> so after you're selling, 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 selling to your customer, you want to create as many opportunities in that lead magnet for the customer to reach out to you and, you know, hit reply. Tell me how I can help you with this. What would you like me to teach next? Ask them as much as possible to get that data. And they're going to give you some really serious limitations. The main two limitations that you're looking for is how much time they can spend on doing something. Like they probably don't want to do a two-hour session with you every single week. And how much money they can afford to do that for. I really recommend um, not asking people how much they want to pay for something because they'll always lowball you. But it's a very good, it's really easy to look at somebody's social media and figure out by the state of their room, by the state of their wardrobe, by what's going on in their life, 
by the books on their bookshelf, how much they can invest in their own personal growth at this time. It's really easy to figure that out. So I would be a lot more concerned. Don't ask people how much they want to pay you because they're going to tell you fucking 50 bucks. When we do our data scrape at the end of this, you'll be able to see, you know, what somebody's ideal price point is, but we don't want to find out what their ideal price point is and use that to shape our offer for them because they're always going to lowball you and you got fucking bills to pay, right? So the end, but we really want to get all these customer limitations because that's going to help us build our core offer right here. And your core offer is what people are asking you to teach or what, let's say that you did a workshop on pursuing your pleasure up here, that this was the lead magnet that you learned. Well, the biggest limitation to pursuing pleasure is shame. So maybe that's now telling you that what your core offer is going to be is a workshop on removing shame or working. Now you can't build a workshop until you have data. And that data is either coming from one-on-one -on -one clients, almost always in the beginning, one-on-one -on -one clients, read that book, The Prosperous Coach. If that data is not coming from one-on-one -on -one clients, which would be very rare for your first round of making spiritual money, then it would come from a live workshop where you're teaching what's essential, but like 50% of that workshop is Q&A. When it comes to one-on-one -on -one clients, you can only really plan for about 20% of what it is that you're going to be teaching them because they're going to bring their own limitations and their own everything into, into that space of coaching. And they're going to push you to sharpen your creative edge and, and really figure out what it is that, that you most need to learn. Your one-on-one -on -one clients will always be breathing down your neck in a spiritual sense, meaning you're like, oh, I don't really feel like I could teach this. I just learned this a minute ago from someone else I could do. Am I even allowed to say this? Yes, you are. Do it. That's what we're all doing here. But you can only, when you're building a core offer for one-on-one, -on -one, that core offer is going to be the core offer is going to be how much you're charging for it. This is what it costs. It costs $4,000 for 10 sessions. It costs $150 a session. It costs, and you can always raise your price. You can always raise your price. Most coaches raise their price like every three clients, but that's how rarely one-on-one -on -one clients come in is that you're, that it, it's not something you can't rely on those injections or you're going to go bankrupt without a doubt. But Every single one of those one-on-one -on -one clients are super useful because they're helping you get the data that can, that can make a group workshop. And just a note on this point here at point four is that this is this specific area. It's really helpful if you want to know more about your ideal customer, pick somebody on your social media that is a good representative for like your the, the type of person that you would want to help and just ask them if you can get on the phone with them and you're not getting on the phone with them to pitch them you're getting on the phone with them to learn more about them to learn more about them where they're working what their budget is have they worked with the coach before what scares them about working with the coach where are they stuck you can call this i just want to have like a curious conversation with you it's not a pitch I'm not here to pitch you. This isn't cold calling. I'm here to serve you. Can you do a free, um, can I offer you a free session? I want to have a free curious conversation with you. This is a very spiritual thing to do to get data and speaking to one customer on the phone. It will help you to build a really solid customer avatar and will help you to build that core offer over here, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or live coaching. But building the core offer here is always going to be to build active income and active income means you are selling time for money, either live workshop time, which will one day go on to be passive or live one-on-one -on -one coaching time, which will then go into being a live workshop, which will then go into being totally passive income. And then the levels of passive income might even be more refined as you go. Like for example, it goes from being a $400 group workshop to a $28 book years down the road. So the more that we practice teaching something, 
the clearer we get about the method that we're offering and the cheaper it can start to be for our audience, the cheaper it is, the more people can buy it. And the cheaper the product is, the better a chance you have of like becoming famous for that. You'll never really become famous doing one-on-one -on -one coaching because so few people can experience that. And of those few people that experience that, you there's no guarantee that those people will tell other people about you. A lot of times people keep their coaches private. And I, I 100% encourage my client. The results that I get for my clients are so fucking immense that the last thing I want them to do is to get the award that we worked for them to build together and feel like they have to thank me. I'm a fucking signpost. I just point the way. They're taking all of the work by themselves. They're taking every step by themselves, but I'm showing them how to do it. And that's their success. I don't need anything from them. I'm here to lift them up and let them take 100% of the of the credit. I know what we shared. They know what we shared and we'll love each other until the day we die. So, but active income is time for money. Active income will one day become passive and you're, but you're always going to have active income in your business. There's a lot of people that are like, I just want to exit the rat race and only work passive income. This is a sign that you did not build a holistic business that you built a business that was all on active time, you burned yourself the fuck out. It's not strategic. It's not built to last. You burned yourself the fuck out because you were addicted to injection-based money. And now you think that hating the first five years of your business is gonna make you like the next five years of your business. This is not correct. There is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. There is no way to balance. Balance is the way. However you start your business is going to become the company culture. So we want to start things strategically and sustainably from the very beginning. Passive income is not enough to keep a business going. You will always need active income. You'll always need to stay hungry. You're always going to need to be pushing yourself to the creative edge. Let's take Amazon, for example. Amazon might have completely nailed and finalized that, okay, we have two-day shipping. We're the best at getting people things for the cheapest. We're the best in online marketplace in the U.S., period. But then there's always a new edge that they're going to. Can we go into space? Can we make this even better, even better, even better? So there's always something that they're working towards and there's always something that they are building. Everyone clear? All right, great. So this point here at point five is really where it's gonna take the most time because you're building the core offer, but then you all have to do the whole back of house to make sure, you have to do the whole back of house to make sure that, um, that people can actually buy the product. So like if it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, then you're going to want to have the, if it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, then you're gonna wanna have your contract, a way that they can pay you via Stripe or PayPal. You're gonna wanna have the sales page for that so that they know what they're getting or have a good DM sales situation. Um, whatever it is, however you're delivering the product to them with one-on-one, -on -one, it's pretty simple, but you are going to want to have a contract and in my workshop Empress, which is a great, a great starting journey with sales. Um, there are those calls with my accountant. There's also the calls with my, um, there's also the contract template and, just let me know. I, I I know a lot of people that are watching this are going to be buying the Enneagram workshop, but Empress is a really complimentary system to that. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put a coupon up for Empress so that you guys can get that as well. If you're interested, you guys will be able to get both of those off of my website. I'll, I'll, I'll take 50% off of Empress for you guys as well for this round. Um, you'll have to check back and see if that's still valid if you're watching this much later than the release date. All right. So it's just going to take you and you just need to honor that. Like you're not behind, but this particular phase takes uh, a really long time, even more so if you're doing a group workshop, because you have to figure out what the tech stack is that's going to allow them to buy the workshop and get it right away. 
in the beginning, you know, in the beginning, I was just delivering orders manually. So people would buy and I'd say, thanks so much. Let me enroll this person manually into my workshop. But now it's so easy to use systems like Kajabi fucking sucks. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It fucking sucks. It's so expensive. But Podia is if you're wanting to like launch workshops, Podia is a pretty easy place to do that. And all you do is you put the Podia checkout link on the buy now button instead of leaving the buy now button the way it was. I'll also include the how to build a website in a week without killing yourself resource that is in your Enneagram workshop, but I'll make sure that that's in Empress as well. It's really easy to do all of these things. I've been doing this for years. I've taught hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs how to do this. So <laughs> I'm very experienced in this. Once you have that core offer, it's time for you to make that active income. And that's when you really step into your role as a seller. It was easy to do over here when you were just working with the buyer because they didn't actually have to buy anything. It was free. But now you have that practice doing that. You're confident because you've built something before. Now we're taking that same energy and we're doing it for something that costs money. This is what I do. This is what, this is the core problem my customer has. This is what I want to help them overcome. And the thing is, is that because you've been teaching from what you most need to learn and you're just letting yourself talk to your market and your newsletter all the time, we started off talking about pleasure for my lead magnet, but now we're really talking about shame a lot because that's such an inhibitor to pleasure. I'm working with one. Of, here's my story of how I've overcome shame. You guys have seen this journey for me. You've seen me change the way that I'm presenting myself to the world. You've seen me grow the fuck up. I can show you how to do this. I can show you how to overcome shame. I have two one-on-one -on -one spaces open. I would love to get on a call with you to see if that, if, if you're a fit for that, I would love, and you're really introducing that product to the market and you're really just selling it until it's sold. But what I like to do is give people a specific window of time. Like for the next 30 days, you're selling this product, which is represented by this point here, which is launching it. You give yourself a specific window of how long you're selling this for. And if you don't get the sales that you want during that time, and you won't because everybody that's early in business has these super high sites that they're, they're like, this is what it's going to be. This is how much money I'm going to make. And it just doesn't work like that because you have to build it. Every launch will get better. Um, but you give yourself a specific window of time that you're selling these one-on-one -on -one spaces for before you take them off the market. And this will let you know when it's time to focus on something else. If you don't have a clear window for something like this, then the buyer has no incentive to buy from you right away. And you can just be doing it indefinitely, hoping it's going to work when actually like you need to pivot you need to move on to the final step, which is finding out why people didn't buy and making them something that they can buy. But this is really you stepping into the role of a spiritual seller. This is active. This is why you're doing it. This is how something becomes profitable. So sell, sell, sell. The more you repeat after me, everybody, the more you sell, the more you sell. The more you sell, the more you sell. Someone has commented on here, Virgo. I'm actually a Capricorn, but this is a Virgo level of organization. And I used to be extremely chaotic. No, I, my first business went bankrupt and my second business capsized. So now I come to everything with strategic action, how I teach, how I write books, how I market, how I help my one-on-one -on -one clients achieve their goal, how I accomplish every single workshop, how I'm able to manage a community of hundreds of students at all times, knowing exactly where they are, exactly where they've been and exactly where they're going next. I have a school that has all of my workshops bundled together, but we enroll that one time per year so that I can watch your ass from the beginning of the year to the end and make sure that this is landing and tailored to you with Q&A every single week. It is the most cost-effective way to have the one-on-one -on -one experience with me, spending an entire year with me in my esoteric school studying cutting edge spirituality and cutting edge business in equal measure this is the opportunity of a lifetime that enrolls in December exclusively. The end. We did a little test launch of it and I said, no, we're doing this one time a year only. Um, but the next best thing is getting these workshops a la carte. You'll learn all about this in my workshop, The Enneagram. You can learn more about sales in my workshop, Empress. 
Uh, another place where, where you'll build a strategic business plan from start to finish is in the workshop Autoerotic Wealth. Not only will you build a business that doesn't embarrass you, does not break, does not fail, but you'll use sex magic to do it. So yes, we can go to the highest level of magic and the highest level of business in a way that you actually do get to go behind the velvet curtain for 10 months and then come out and be like, I am a queen now. And, and you're not telling people, oh, I'm a teacher now. You're like, come to my suite of products and see for your fucking self. The end. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So here at this point, we're just launching it. And this is where you celebrate all the hard works. Like you're, you're the works. All of your hard work is going to pay off. It's just... I got to be honest with you. It's not going to pay off the way that you think it's going to in that first year of business. And you need to know that. And you need to know that you need to go into this with a marathon mindset that you will work it until it becomes successful. It's not like, oh, can I be successful? It's can I make something successful? And how you make something successful is by knowing all of the factors that need to be there for success to occur, which you can see here on an Enneagram. And you also have to be willing to persevere and to keep it's the, the commitment gets you into the world of entrepreneurship, but recommitting to your goal is what gets you the success that you want. So you're recommitting over and over again and surrendering to the fact that this is not going to be an overnight job. Anybody that tells you it's an overnight job is, is scamming you. It's just not going to work like that. Um, so after launching, this is the most important part that you would actually never do accidentally. This is why an Enneagram is so important because this point here of knowing how to get the data from your customers and turning every no into a yes, and this part here of understanding the customer limitations and going around it, this part here of the importance of building a lead magnet before you're ready very early on in the game, you wouldn't know about these things. So you'd be wondering why something wasn't working and eventually this could take you five or six years. Eventually, you would figure out the process that needs to be done and in what order to get success. But you'd be just throwing shit to a wall and seeing what sticks. And that can get really expensive. And that can be really embarrassing. It can be like very fucking embarrassing. I've seen it. We've all seen this happen to people, right? We've all seen the people that have it. I'm a teacher. I'm a healer. I'm going to do this. And then it's like, there are really present for three months and then they're crying and then they like get a job. So <laughs> there is a way to turn every single no into a yes. And how you turn every single no into a yes is by swapping out your preferences, your preferences of like, I hate criticism. I love compliments. At this point, we are actually looking for criticism. And what I always do is offer, I take that audience, whatever my neutral income was, if I was talking to them on my newsletter list, I'm going to go there. If I was talking to them on Instagram, I'm going to go there. When I launch, I'm talking to everybody everywhere, but I'm going to ask them specifically, Hey, why was this a no for you? I'll pull a tarot card of the day for you. I'll give you $50 off one of my other workshops. I will give you some kind of incentive to tell me why this was a no for you right now. And if it's one-on-one -on -one clients, like when, pe when people say no, you can just ask them, be like, hey, I want to make this even better next time. And the thing is, is that they'll tell you it was a no for me because of this, but it'll be a yes for me if it's like this. A lot of times it's either... It, it, I do this with every single launch. It's always one of these three things. They didn't have the time for it. They didn't have the money for it, or they weren't clear about what it is. Now, if they didn't have the time for it, then it's very easy to work on that next product. You're like, they're literally going to tell you what to make next. I'll make something with a lower time commitment. I'll make something that only costs $500. It means that it can't have my live time but that's cool because that will build me passive income. The there's there's riches in these lower priced products. Like this is really where you create sustainable income. It's not as exciting as getting an injection, but it lasts the high lasts forever. And you can if you do this strategically, like you'll make money off. I'm still making money off the 10 day speech detox that first freebie that I did way back then. I was like it's $22, but you can get it free for this month only. 
And that's what turned me into somebody that that is cool with people buying from me. So, but we always just want to find out why was it a no? And they'll tell us exactly what we should be working on next. And if something needs to be cheaper, that's great news because it means that it will not have live time attached to it. For the first draft of it, it'll have to have live time to get everybody's questions. But for the second draft of it, it probably won't need live time or just very, very little. Um, if you're using an Enneagram to build a workshop and you'll get that resource for that in my Enneagram book, I'm sorry, in my, in my Enneagram class. And that class is 50% off for the next month, but read the book on the Enneagram. That's free. Go to mommyonami.com forward slash Enneagram or mommyonami.com forward slash free book to scoop that up. And you'll also get the masterclass on, on black, white, and red magic, but no problem. This is all very, very easy. Uh, this is all very, very easy. Just follow the fucking steps. You follow the steps, you get the result. Um, but if you're using an Enneagram to build a workshop, then I let you know in that resource specifically where people will need your help once it's going to passive. And that'll be at this point, at this point, and at this point. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk you through it two times using very simple words. And then I'm going to walk you through it as if I'm telling your parents that this is what you're going to do. This is so that you become super comfortable with the map. And then my homework for you is to think about which workshop you want to do of mine. I'll make sure to get that coupon on Empress going for you guys. Um, and, and then describe this map in your own words. You can take a screenshot of it right now if you want. So you are starting a spiritual business from scratch. The first thing that you're going to do is work your market. You're going to build up your audience and you are coming to that audience to serve. We don't want to hear your mess. We want to hear your message. A mess plus age is a message. If it's a mess right now, it'll be a message eventually. My workshop, Fuckless, will teach you how to market authentically. That's an amazing workshop. Enrolls. When is that enrolling next? I think a year from now. Um, I think a year from now. But let me tell you a secret. If you want to be in my school safe house, because there's so many people that want to take all these workshops at once, there's always a secret link at mommyonami.com forward slash safe house. But I might change that link because I really want people to do it, to commit to doing it for the year. And if you commit to doing, oh, you know what I can do? I could just take away the monthly option. Okay, cool. Go to mommyonami.com slash safe house. There'll be a monthly option for like four more hours. But if you want to get all my workshops together, you can get it there. What a great idea. Thank you guys. Make 40 grand a year using my gifts. So you are going to set a clear financial intention for yourself. And then you are going to identify what it is that you have most recently learned what you most need to learn is what you'll be teaching next, but right here, listen to my words because it's different than what's written down right here. You need to build a lead magnet based off something that you learned in the most recent past. Now, if you want to know how to do this for the next round, when it comes to scaling a business, you can watch part two of this video. It should be out in like a week. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to sell the shit out of that freebie to get people into your audience. We are using this passive income product, this workshop that you created, this ebook, this masterclass that doesn't have any of your lifetime attached to it. And we are feeding our neutral income audience from this passive income from the very beginning. This is an excellent habit to get into. If you guys have questions, now would be a good time to ask them in TikTok. I'm going to go through this this time, one more time, and then as if I'm talking to your parents. The next thing that you're going to have to do is get as many customer limitations as possible. And your customer limitations you get by getting on the phone with them. Yes, you've never done this before, but you can learn. You don't know what to teach. Your customer will tell you all of these things. If you make sure to ask them, we want to get as many limitations from the customer as we can because limitations create style. After that, you're going to build your core offer. And for the first round of this, that core offer will 99% be one-on-one. -on -one. You can only plan for, you won't say, in the first session, we're going to do this. In the second session, we're going to do this. You're going to say, I'm going to work with you, hopefully, to overcome shame. That'll be 20% of what you do. The 80% that client will bring to you from their unique situation. And they're hiring you not based off what they think you can do, but what they've already seen you do because they've been in your audience this whole time. 
All right. They're really going to tell you what you can do for them with one-on-one. -on -one, it's easy. You basically just say the door is open and for a fixed period of time, 30 days, 21 days, you are going to advertise those open spaces. If it's a group workshop, then you'll be advertised. Then, then that's in the, in the scaling world. But in the beginning, it's going to be with one-on-one -on -one clients and you've read the prosperous coach. You have that the next step on your list of what you most need to learn. So you're reading the prosperous coach and you're going to just launch these spaces for a fixed period of time. And then when that's done, you're going to find out why people said no, giving them an incentive to give you that feedback. And then we'll go right into our market again and start telling them about the new product that we're creating. And as we're telling them about the new product that we're creating, we're going to set a clear financial intention. I want to make $50,000 on a group workshop. Then you're going to identify what it is that you most need to learn to do that. Do you need to brush up on some skills? Do you need to study some more? Great. Do that. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks for the second round. You won't have to build a lead magnet first because you already know how to do that but you are just communicating with your audience what you're learning when you're here at this point of studying what you need to know to make that next workshop. Then we start giving that information to the audience and we're passively seed launching this product. We're telling them about what it is that we're creating. And then we're coming right back around again. We're asking them, what's their limitations? I want to know what kind of time do you have to invest here? We're getting on the phone with them and being like, hey, uh, let me know. I want to know about your life. I want to know how, you know, do you have kids? Are you working? How do we make this work for you? Then we're going, we're putting our head the fuck down. We're building our core offer. We're making the sales page. We're getting the tech stack together. We're getting the front of house, the back of house synchronized. We're getting it all together so that when we introduce it to the market, the customer could just buy it right away. And for the second round, I mean, I, I have my other this is really what I'm describing here for the second round of doing it is the scale Enneagram. So the words that I'm using are different than you see on here because I should, let me just see if I can show you guys uh, what it would look like on the other one. Make this a little bit clearer for you. Um, building the launch. This is for the second round. You would be built. Oh, hang on. Let me get this right for you guys. Share screen preview number four. And if you will go more into this specific one tomorrow. So don't worry about the fact that I'm, this is when you're doing it the next time. The next time, instead of building a lead magnet over here, you'll be building a lead magnet over here. You're building the launch and getting that to your customer. And then we're introducing that product to market over and over and over again for a fixed period of time. And then we're getting the data from them again. Let me stop the share on this. Let me just do go back to that first one. Hopefully I didn't totally confuse you guys by switching Enneagrams over there. And there is a part two that I'll teach you how to scale. It'll be shorter. Um, and I'm going to do this one more time as if I'm talking to your parents about what your business plan is. So who's the person on here? Mystical. So mystical um, mystical's parents, they're going to start working towards their first $40,000 a year. If they work with no interruptions, it would take about six months, but interruptions are natural. So I say, give it 24 months before you decide that it's not working. 24 months, if they're keeping a full-time job while they're building this, six months, if they're going full-time, they could totally do this. At all times, they'll know exactly where they are and exactly where they're going. The first step in their business plan is going to be addressing their social media and their existing audience and starting to change the way their audience views them from being just a random person on Instagram to somebody that is in a service-based sales business. They have a clear financial intention to make $40,000 a year using their gifts. Their first step to doing that is going to be to build a freebie to incentivize people coming into their audience so that they can be marketed to for free. Once they have this lead magnet completed and they already have an idea of what this could be because it's something that they learned in the last 30 days and they're looking to go forward to their creative cutting edge. So they're going to teach it to people while it's nice and fresh in their mind. And they'll be using this as a plug for, you know, the little sessions and stuff that they're still learning about here. There's no pressure on them to be 
profitable from these first points right here. Once we get over here, we'll start to see the first pieces of income coming in, but it's going to be a slow and steady build because we're building a holistic business strategy here. We're not really interested in them living off of cash injection and then having to move back in with you. We're starting with passive income from the beginning. We're starting with neutral income from the beginning, and we'll get to the active income when it's good, solid time for that. After they have that lead magnet, you're going to really see them grow the fuck up as they're constantly selling this freebie to people. Get on my newsletter list and get this free workshop. Get on my newsletter list and get this free challenge. It's going to be really impressive for you to see how well they can represent themselves in the marketplace. And when they have this practice of doing it with something that's free with no pressure on it, it'll really help to rip that bandaid for them. And now they know how to build other workshops because they already did it once with no financial pressure. After that, they're really going to be completely immersed in market research. They're going to be getting their ideal client on the phone and their market is really going to tell them what the follow-up offering should be after they had this amazing freebie. The chances of them figuring this out as they write that freebie are really big, but then we're going to bring in the customer limitations because the last thing that we want to do is pitch a $5,000 product to people that don't have that kind of money. So we're really assessing the market and we have a, we're starting to build our customer avatar here because that customer avatar is who we're going to need to build our core offer. And the core offer is going to be the first piece of active income, the first way that they can start to see how they could really support themselves on these spiritual gifts. So what they're going to be doing at this point is whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, really identifying what the time duration and the price point is for that offering, getting comfortable being like, this is what it is. This is how much it costs. This is what I want to help you overcome. And we can't, there's, this is the first, first inroad for real income to start coming in. But we're aware from the very beginning that active income is not super reliable and that the way, the real way to create consistent income in our business is through passive income workshops and education. But in order to do that, we need the data from one-on-one -on -one customers. So even though we might not be able to fully support ourselves off of cash injection sustainably, what it is giving us is a sustainable method that we can use to fuel our workshops going forward. We need the data from the one-on-one -on -one customers to be able to create group workshops. So it's going to go in this order. Our teaching starts with us learning it, then we practice it with our one-on-one -on -one clients, then it becomes a live workshop with our support, and then it becomes a passive income workshop without our support, and then maybe one day it might even become a book. So the teachings are being distilled. The more we teach them, the more experienced we are with teaching them, and the more they can stand alone without our support and create that residual income that we all want. They're going to create a very specific window for how long they're going to be selling this product for so that you're not going to hear from them in six months being like, I really hope this is going to work out. They're going to know when to fold it because this is on the red magic line. And they've learned about this from my workshop on magic and using magic in business specifically. My name's Mami Onami. I teach spirituality and business in equal measure because faith without works is delusion. So I know you love that your child is on their like self -heal healing journey, but I'm not here to make sure that they can live in a trailer wearing patchwork work pants, drinking ayahuasca and talking about changing the world. Like they're going to be a business that we can all be really proud of. And a note on that parents, you have your life, this is your child's life. So if they've decided that they're going to do this, and they have a strategy, the best thing you can do is stand back and support them because you have your life and this is theirs. Thank you very much. Um, we're launching for a specific window of time. And after that, they are going to know from the very beginning how to scrape data from every interaction in their business to find out why people said no to this offering so that it can be a yes to something else. We understand that people want to buy whatever it is that they helped build. And we're going to make sure that we don't miss out on this super valuable data by giving people a clear incentive to give us the feedback on why it was a no for them. We're offering them a free session, a free tarot card pool, anything we can really we only need to get data from two or three people to have enough guidance to be able to start the next session, to be able to start the next project, and on and on this will go as we scale. After this, they're going to watch my specific video on how to scale a business using this, and the sky's the limit.
But as soon as they have that concept for the next workshop that they're teaching based on the audience feedback, then they'll bring that to their neutral income. They'll bring that to their audience and they'll start warming up the audience on this topic. So thank you very much for supporting them. Even if you don't understand it, we're living in a completely new era and we are watching the fucking educational institutions crumble around us. What worked for you and your path to success is not what's going to work for your children. And AI is replacing humans every single day. So it's absolutely imperative that instead of working in a field that competes with intelligence, which can be artificial, that they work in a field that's based in consciousness, which can never be substituted by anything else and will always be the most valuable resource that we have on this planet because it's what makes humanity, humanity. Thank you very much for your time. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching this. It's going to be clear. You guys can see this replay on YouTube. You guys can see part two when I have it done. This will be available for as long as it's available. Workshops that you will want to do. The Enneagram workshop launching right now 50% off. Additionally, there's an option within that checkout to buy the whole fourth way bundle. If you want to know about the lineage that this symbol comes from, you can learn that with me as well. And I'll also make sure that you guys can get Empress for 50% off as well. Or the best of the best is to do a year in school with me by going to mommyonami.com slash safe house and enrolling right away. Thank you all so much. Love you all so much. And I will see you uh, next time for our special workshop on how to scale a business using this method. Thank you very much. Love you very much. Bye. Someone had the question here, like, what about wedding photography? How does this go from being active to passive? So to reference what we talked about in the beginning of this video, um, in some industries, you always have to be there. And the best thing that you can do is think about starting a new income stream for which my workshop erotic wealth, if you're married, will be the key or auto erotic wealth, if you're single, will really be the key. Um, but the best thing that you could do if there's absolutely no way to scale that business is to develop an income stream that can be passive. But here's some ways that you could take your active income of wedding photography and make it passive one day. That is to either open up an agency or maybe you're noticing like a trend thing where uh, people want to have like videos that would involve footage taken all the time. Like maybe they want footage of like their kids growing up or maybe they want footage of, you know, they want to have all of these cool, I, I guess time lapse is kind of the words of it, but they want to have all of these interesting moments set up that aren't necessarily capturable in one day or one sitting. You can either teach them how to do something like that or create some kind of recurring thing where it's like, I'm going to take a picture of your family every day in this setting or how to do it themselves or something like that. There's always a way to do it. All right, love you guys so much. Thank you very much. Bye.